Hi, I'm Lauren Cunningham, student worker in the Office of Public Relations. Thanks for tuning in to Gamecock News Network. Even though it's summer, there are still plenty of things going on around the JSC campus. If you see a freshman at Gamecock Orientation, be sure to say hello so that JSU can live up to its name, the friendliest campus in the South. Gamecock Orientation began June 14th and will go through July 19th. If you are an incoming freshman, make sure you've registered for an orientation. This can be done on the JSU website. Orientation is a fun way for you to learn everything you need to know about JSU, and you get to meet some of your fellow Gamecocks. If you're looking for something to keep yourself or someone else occupied this summer, Jacksonville State University's Office of Continuing Education is offering a wide variety of summer camps and classes to the local community. Children and adults can choose to learn a new skill or enhance one they already have. The camps are designed to meet all kinds of schedules. So, if you're looking to pick up photography or you want to learn CPR, visit the Continuing Education website, www.jsu.edu slash c-o-n-e-d to see a listing of those classes and many more. If you'd like to experience the beauty of nature, head to JSU's Little River Canyon Center in DeKalb County, Alabama. They have something for everyone, from guided tours to pottery workshops and more. To see a complete listing of these activities, visit www.jsu.edu slash epic, then click on 2011 Field School Programs. Now to Carol Walbert for an update on Gamecock Sports. Hi, I'm Carol Walbert, an intern in the Office of Public Relations, and this is Gamecock Sports. The JSU baseball team ended the season at 36-23 after advancing to the OVC championship game for the seventh time in the last eight years. Former Jacksonville State outfielder Todd Cunningham has been named to the Carolina League All-Star team, current first baseman Ben Waldrop was drafted by the Kansas City Royals, and current shortstop Cody Blanchard was named to the 2011 Louisville Slugger Freshman All-American team. The men's golf team finished 13 at the NCAA Southeast Regionals, played in Florida on May 21st. Jack State's finish is the best in the program history in NCAA postseason. The women's golf team finished third overall in the OVC Championship on April 23rd. The 2011 season for the men's tennis team came to a close on April 16th with the 10 and 13 overall mark and 4 and 3 in OVC play. JSU advanced to the semifinals after beating Moorhead State 4 to 0 in the opening round. The women's tennis team, which was the 2011 OVC champions, lost to Georgia Tech in the NCAA Women's Tennis Championship in the opening round. The team wrapped up the season at 13-11. The rifle team finished the 2011 NCAA Rifle Championships in fourth place in the air rifle competition. The Jacksonville State softball team won the OVC tournament, which earned them a bid to the Louisville Regional, their fifth NCAA appearance overall and fourth in a row. They didn't advance to Super Regionals, but on June 6, the OVC announced the Jacksonville State University was the recipient of the 2010-2011 Team Sportsmanship Award for softball. The Jack State track and field women set five new school records and finished fourth in the OVC in one of their most successful seasons in JSU history. It's only June, but football season isn't far away. Head coach Jack Crow has been hitting the recruitment trail hard and recently announced two SEC transfers, Washon Ely, formerly at Georgia, and Clarence Jackson, formerly at Old Miss, have both enrolled in classes at Jacksonville State. Mark your calendars for the season opener against UT Martin on Thursday, September 1st at 6 p.m. Here at Gamecock News Network, we proudly support all of our Gamecock sports. In other news, on Monday, June 6th, Mr. Warren Kogel was introduced as the new Gamecock Athletic Director. Kogel comes to JSU from Coastal Carolina University, where he was the Director of Athletics for 11 years. He had previously served at the University of Tennessee at Chattanooga as the Associate Athletic Director from 1998 to 2000 under former JSU Athletics Director Oval James. The yearbook staff is proud to announce the release of two new mimosas. The 2009-2010 yearbook is available now, and coming very soon is the 2010-2011 book. These yearbooks are new and improved. Both are hundreds of pages long and feature everything from sporting events to poetry contests. The yearbooks are $50 each, but if you buy one of these new and improved yearbooks, you'll get the 2007-2008 and 2008-2009 yearbooks free of charge as long as supplies last. 
To get your own awesome yearbook, contact Lee Miller, marketing specialist and advisor to the yearbook. She can be reached at llmiller at jsu.edu or come to room 301F of Bid Graves. She will accept checks, credit cards, debit cards, and cash. Now to Julie Skinner for a special report. Hey Gamecocks! How about this heat? Why not cool off with something sweet? Right here on campus we have just what you need to jumpstart an intense brain freeze. TNB's Chick-fil-A has an assortment of shakes. Chocolate, strawberry, vanilla, but wait! The Gamecock Diner has Dippin' Dots. A big old scoop will surely hit the spot. Or why not go for a delightful swim? P. Matthews Coliseum will let you in. Don't let the summer heat get to you. JSU has the perfect relief. It's true. To check out the summer hours of Pete Matthews Coliseum, the Gamecock Diner, and the TMB, go to the website www.jsu.edu. Until next time, go Gamecocks!